So, Oprah brings out this guest, she gives her this huge intro. She's been on this, she's been on that, and she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's the mother. So immediately I look at my girlfriend, I'm like, really? Being a mom is the most difficult job on the planet? How many mothers died on ice road truckers last season? <laughs> Any moms get washed overboard on deadliest catch? I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but what would you rather have as a job? You want to scoop scallops off the bottom of the ocean, catching that lobster trap to the back of your head? Or do you want to hang in the sunshine with a couple of rugrats? You'd send them to bed anytime you want in some trumped up charges, because you want to have a drink and watch the prices, right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it is the most difficult job. I mean, I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead, you know? I thought that that was a difficult job. I really did. I thought it was difficult. But evidently, evidently these mothers, they're bending over at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD players, going to war, pinned down by a sniper. What a joke! You ever burp a baby and forget to put that towel up there? There's another shirt you gotta wash. Oh, lift with your knees and put it in that machine that does it for you. Dude, any job you can do in your pajamas is not difficult. It isn't. I'm sure it's... Yeah, to hell with these mothers. <laughs> Watching cartoons, taking naps. <laughs> Look, I'm messing around, but you know, come on. I know it's a difficult job, but the most difficult job on the whole planet Remember when Saddam let the oil fields on fire and those poor bastards had to go put them out? 4,000 degrees, walking in with your little asbestos shield, just walking into flames. <laughs> you want to do that or watch Bob the Builder again? I mean, be honest with yourself. I'm going to tell you something, man. You know what? I'm sick of pedophiles. I am. Sex offenders. Dude, they're on every channel. Everybody is doing something on sex offenders, you know? It's like, dude, I got it. There's people out there touching kids, you know? But it's not everybody. It's a very small portion of the population, so, you know, take it down a few, because you're making it fucking awkward out there. Dude, you can't say hi to kids anymore. I love kids. I love kids. I like making faces at them on the airplane, making them laugh. Now parents are like, is that a sex offender? They start huddling their kids in, making me feel like a freak, you know? I'm terrified of kids now. Remember back in the day when a kid would come walking up to you, you, you could pat him on the head, hey, hey, Rusty, how you doing, right? Now a kid comes walking up, and I'm like, dude, get that thing the fuck away from me. Get it away from me, I'm serious, dude, get it away from me. Hands are up high, not aroused, just terrified. Please, for the love of God, I'm serious. Get that thing away from me, all right? Don't need the FBI or have to catch a predator guy to come walking out. Like, what are you doing here? What are you doing? Here? No, 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 sit down. That show to catch a predator, man, that is horrible PR for white people, huh? Jesus Christ. Can they move that show to an urban area every once in a while? Just catch a couple of. R. Kelly's peeing on some kids, you know? Just balance it out a little bit. It's like this every dude walking in that house gotta look like me, like, hey, you're the fucking eight year old, how are you? No, but it's unbelievable. Everybody is talking about pedophiles and all that type of stuff. I, I don't know. Maybe there's more of them nowadays. Is it, is it like easier now? Because the internet, you know? You know, because back in the day, you had to work for it, right? You know, you had to get an ice cream truck, you had to buy some budget you had to figure out when the kids got out of school, you pick a straggler, you know? Now you just go on the internet, you just Google www.eight-year-old whose parents are falling asleep, you know, you're in there. Look, I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing, okay? Well, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I got bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? All right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? How did this snake get so mad? It almost killed you. Firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards. They sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. 
I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tune a casserole, and just start swinging, all right? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist, they should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? They understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? You know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude, in your heart of hearts, what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baskin Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? You fucking... <laughs> you know? Or do you think maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said? Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. Right? To be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue. Do you keep those in the glove box? Oh my God, I'll bring my own. I'll bring my own. <laughs> now fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is a core of a lot of that shit. You know? And I got to tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued. But after 20 years of losing every significant battle <laughs> in a relationship, I finally figured out how they argued. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> I have begun a winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees, apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right, no problem with that, totally respect it. But here's the thing, if they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head they just start concocting this evil statement. <laughs> totally designed, this desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. <laughs> That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one, that's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it, you're in this room now, right? I'm, uh, I'm sick of Obama's wife. <laughs> yeah. He's running a, this isn't some Democrat Republican shit. This is just in general. <laughs> just running her yap. It's just like, shut up. <laughs> you know? You weren't elected. <laughs> you know, your husband isn't running a lemonade stand. He's running the country. <laughs> no, generally speaking, First ladies, they've been out of line for a good 25, 30 years. <laughs> they think for some reason that their husband has the job that now they should be chiming in like they know some shit, you know? <laughs> Dude, if you had a leak at your house and you called the plumber and the plumber comes in and he starts fixing it, what would you do if five seconds later his wife, who isn't a plumber, comes walking in, well, I think we should run it over here. It's like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Just cause you're fucking the plumber doesn't mean you understand plumbing. Okay? Now, this is all like my fears because they're trying to tell us down uh, south here that like, they're, they're starting to like gear up for Hillary Clinton to be running for president, saying like, I think that would be a good thing. Yeah, people clapping. What, what is that based on? Based on what? I don't get how she became a senator. That's shocking to you? She went from never holding political office to immediately being a senator. Why, because she was fucking the president? <laughs> Should Tom Brady's wife be the next quarterback of the Rams? <laughs> the, does he have some sort of magical powers? Like you suck at sports? I couldn't throw it all! And then he fucked me, and I just picked up this ball, and I was just, I was just lacing it in there! It was incredible! All right. Look, 
Look, no means no. No, that means no. All right, but no, stop it. What are you doing? Oh my God. You're being so bad. Stop it. No. Yeah, that's not a fucking no. That means I want to do it, but I'm afraid you're going to judge me. So I'm just going to make it look like it was your idea so you don't figure out that I've already performed this act with 40 other fucking people. Right? But then... Then you go to court and you get a bad read and there's some guy reading it. Ah, oh, your honor, she said no. Stop it. What are you doing? You're being so bad. <laughs> yeah, and you're just sitting there like, she didn't fucking say it like that. She didn't say it like that. Anybody see that? It's about the first all-black swim team and the difficulties they had to go through being the first all-black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they going to make? It's like, it's all the way down to swimming. You know? I'm starting to run out of white guilt, you know? No, it's like those movies, they started off unbelievable. Started off with roots, right? White guilt was at an all-time high. I could barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil, okay? Please, please turn the channel, dude. Please turn the channel. They're still hitting them? Fuck, turn the channel. This is gonna be on all week? Jesus Christ, turn the channel. Then in the 80s, there was like a football movie, then like Cuba Gooding wanted to be like a scuba diver. Remember that shit? And now it's all the way down to swimming. And I gotta admit, I don't think I give a fuck. You know, I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's a recreational activity. Plus I've been in pools. There's been black people in the pool. You know, I never saw any white guy like trying to like fucking like prevent people from getting into the pool. <laughs> it's like, they just like making this shit up. I'm not, I'm not being a dick here either, okay? Just to clarify, you know, I just don't want anybody coming up to me after the show like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it, and then... I'm not saying that I don't think black shit people should be allowed to put on some Speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying... These movies, like, the characters aren't even believable. Like, they always have to have, like, that, the, the over-the-top, uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy? He's the guy like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? He's like the dude they always have like screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all-black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> he's got like a big vein in his forehead. He's just screaming shit, look, not even looking around, you know? Dude, it's ridiculous. Real racism is quiet. It's subtle. People look around first. To make sure that, you know, to make sure the coast is clear. There's disclaimers, like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? <laughs> That's how it goes down. It's not just some guy just standing up there. There's Negroes in the pool. Do you approve of this? I work at the bank. Can I be fired immediately, please? I'm just saying, can you just make the shit, like, believable? You know what the honest thing is? Those movies, they're starting to give me a complex. You know, because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people, it's always like white dudes. So it's like, are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people, you know? No Mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from India like, dude, what the fuck is that? Is that like itchy? Is that bug you? What is it? White dudes the only ones walking around. Why, well, you guys don't eat cows? What are you, a bunch of fags? Well, then why are you wearing sandals? This guy's wearing sandals. This guy's a fag. 